I think we're on. Are we on? Are we on? Let's get make sure everything's up and running. Every Dawn said yes, everything's working. Okay, guys. Well, it's Michelle. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, she dried. Sorry I wasn't able to come on yesterday, but we had a horrible ice storm and schools were closed. The highway was closed. I was like, oh, forget it. I'm staying home. But it did give this a lot of time to dry. So not only did it dry overnight, but it dried for a couple of days. So um, for those of you who are just tuning in, um, we've got a few episodes behind us. If you'd like to go ahead and follow and like our page, appreciate it. And it also give you a chance to go back and see how we came up with this. This is actually a base of a china cabinet that was one solid piece and we broke the top off and we'll have another um, tutorial on what to do with the top once you get it dislocated. Um, today we're going to be working on finishing um, our piece with the getting it sealed and what to do. So we're just going to get started real quick. Um, a lot of people were like, well, Michelle, how are you going to, um, what are you going to do with the inside part once you've got all this unicorn spit um, and different mediums applied to it? And well, I, I kept it all together and I removed the hardware, including the hinges. And uh, let me get in here and see if I can unbuckle this. Takes a while. Remember, these got they have like a little bit of a thing in there. Hey, honey, let me see. How do I get that out of there now? Dang it! I've done it before. Jackhammer. Huh? Jackhammer. Jackhammers. Jackhammers work great. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna uh, gotta grab it like that and get a hold of it, and they just pull right out. Because you took the hinges off. Because I took the hinges off. Yes. If it didn't have the hinge, I would be able to take it off a lot easier. There's this little bump right here. If you see this little metal thing that holds it into place whenever you close it but i wanted nice clean hinges and i'm going to do them real gold and beautiful to match the hardware that i'm also going to redo so again we're just going to pull this out ah, i know there's an easier way to do this and i've done it before today i'm just not working on it there we go it's just getting it loose from that clack or what do you want to call that thing a clack a clack. Seems legit. Yeah, I'm like going to call it a clack. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> the clack. All right. So here is what we have going. And you can see that, you know, we have these outside edges. And nobody wants to have a piece of furniture that has an outside edge that's real ugly like that. So what we're going to do is very simple. Unicorn spit is not permanent until it is locked down with an oil-based sealer. That could be an epoxy, that could be um, tongue oil finish, a hemp oil, a hemp salve, a wax. Um, you know, there's numerous different polyurethanes. Anything that's actually oil-based makes it stay and water won't remove it. At the point that it is right now, you can scratch your fingers on it and it's not going to do anything. It's not going to come off on you. Um, so if you just wanted to leave it like this and just always polish it with just pledge, you can keep the finish that you have there. But I am going to really seal it because this, again, is going to be used by me. And I am not the clumsy, or I'm not the, I don't know, I'm super clumsy. So I'm going to seal it with some oil-based sealer. But before I do so, are you able to get this picture, babe? I'm just going to take my washcloth, just real easy, and just clean my edges. So you can see how it just kind of melts right off. There we go. We're going to get some nice clean lines. And I'm going to leave it that cherry finish because why not? It's still beautiful. Everybody knows this is a painted piece and that it's not the original finish on it. You can come in and do some detailing if you wanted to. Maybe paint the interior black. But for me, I'm just going to give myself some nice, sharp, clean edges and take any additional spit that's on here. Let's see if we can turn it this way. There we go. And just take my washcloth and just wash it away. There's no fumes that come off other than you get the smell of jasmine once again. But you just take a damp cloth and just buff away all the extra drip marks from all the doors, all the drawers as well. And just nice and clean, nice and easy. You can also go over the interior with whatever type of 
furniture polish you like just to give it a real thorough clean look. So there we go. That's how I like to do my interiors. Just make them clean and original. Also, I'm going to go around the spots around here because I don't want there to be anything that's going to inhibit those hinges from working real well. So right here is like a kind of a chunk. Just bust that off with my finger now. Very, very simple. Um, so I got that one done and put it over here. When it comes to the interior of your piece, is this one running over here, babe? Maybe. All right. All we do is just go in and just clean it up. It comes right off. Just a little bit of warm water or room temperature water. No need to use any type of um, Dawn dish liquid or TPS. Nothing like that. You just want water. Water does the trick. So it's very simple. Just get a damp cloth and just go for it. Um, it's, I don't know. It's pretty stinking simple. I love it. And get all those edges nice and clean. Go. But I am going to leave the crust down here because I think it just adds to it. It looks really cool. Um, and it didn't make it all the way to the inside there. So I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and clean. Because I'm going to probably use um, a hemp salve to just go ahead and refresh this entire interior of this natural wood that is in here that has its original finish on it. It just needs to be cleaned up before you before you buff it with some cleaner. And the hemp salve rehydrates that wood. It's going to make it look really beautiful. Really like it a lot. All right, same thing with your drawers. Let's get a hold, pull them out. As you can see on this drawer here, because we protected the interior and we protected the sides, there's, are they able to see over here? This one here? Okay. So since we were able to protect the sides so well, go. all we have to do is just a really light dusting on that. And around the top edge, just take your finger and just dust off anything additional that you know shouldn't be there. Make it look nice and clean and sharp. Maintaining that original finish. Because as I said, that original finish that was on here it didn't want to come off very easy. So let's go ahead and just use that for our benefit and to our benefit and make it part of the whole thing. So you can say, yes, this was once a, a mahogany style buffet. And you can see its original finish and how well it was taken care of by looking on the interior. But I did an artistic um, finish on the exterior just for for fun so that's very cool i'm going to do this one real quick that way i can wax these you do want to do this before you seal because the second that sealer oh i need another screwdriver hold on here we go and i'll go with this heavier one all right so as soon as you use um the sealer that makes it so it's no longer oh it's really in there it's no longer able to be washed off. So you do want to make sure that you go in and you clean your edges across the top. Super easy to get clean. Across the side, just make sure that there's no drips or anything. And just across the bottom for good measure. Then you can, my hands are wet, so I'm gonna use this to push it back in. Katarina Botter's on from Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Hello. I have a foreign exchange student named Denise Lima who lived in Rio de Janeiro. Janeiro? Are they close to each other? I have no idea. But she, it was so funny because <laughs> growing up, I was so excited about having a foreign exchange student who, because, you know, I was always thinking that Brazil was the jungle. And she thought it was really funny because I was little. This is my sister's foreign exchange student. And um, she told me that 
she had a monkey for a maid and that their house was a tree house. And I believed it all my life. Until I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lie. Definitely a lie. But and when I was like six years old, I was like, oh my gosh. But then I also knew her parents had a VW dealership. So I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I was a pretty gullible kid. <laughs> Whatever. I see her. She, it's beautiful down there this time of the year. For Christmas, they went boating and they were like floating around on this beautiful boat with all this sun and their kids were just enjoying the sun on their faces and I'm sitting there freezing. Maybe we should move to Brazil. Don has no <laughs> words for that idea. I, I, I do. It's, well, it's cool. It's a family show. Listen, the Brazilian buns, they all have those really nice buns. Everybody likes their haircuts. And they have nice hair. Oh, my God, Don! I just picked up what you put down. <laughs> You're terrible. Sorry. Terrible man. <laughs> He's funny. I'm glad he called it a haircut. Um, they do have really thick, beautiful hair, though. Denise, he always had nice, long, brown hair. I wonder what time it is here in Brazil right now. <laughs> it should be the same time as Central. Oh, okay. Brazil's... It may, it may be an hour or two. I'm, I know that the weather is different. Well, it's south of the equator, so. I know. I'm so jealous. All right. So we got that done. Ugh. Door number two. And I'm just going to go in and clean up my edges here. Ooh, this one she says it's not nothing. in the jungle. I know. Super disappointed to find that out. Welcome to the American education system. Well, no, I was told that when I was six years old. So, though I did go to Gadsden High School, so, you know, who knows. Grace turned out smart. She went to the same school as me. And I cheated off her work all the time. Not going to lie. Because I couldn't pay attention. All right, here we go. So I got all that done. All right. So now she's done. She's ready for... Our clear coat. Wait, let me make sure. I want to notice this part up here has a little bit of a high point where this spit kind of dripped up kind of high. I'm just going to sand that down. Kind of. Darlene Lawson, you did make it in time. Hello, Paula. All right. And we're going to let this out just a little bit. Well, we really don't have to. We can get in there anyway. We can get in there in a minute. All right. Now, you have different options for clear coat, but I do want you to know that this chalky look comes when it is dry. It does not stay this way once you put your oil-based sealer on. It deepens the tones. It gets saturated and locked in. Um, it makes it a lot more durable and definitely moisture resistant. The way that it stands now, this wouldn't be good for a bathroom. No, no, because the humidity and different things like that will eventually tear down the surface. But if you're just going to keep this in your dining room and it'll just get a light dusting here and there, you do not need to seal it if you don't want to. Um, just pledge on a washcloth every once in a while. We'll take care of it. As for me, in my house, we're a bunch of crazy heathens. So I'm going to use some hemp salve um, in order to seal this up. And this one is... Jasmine sent it, and I love it. Or you look like you're getting ready to say something. No. Oh, okay. All right, well, here we go, guys. I'm going to see what it looks like over the gold. Um, here we go. Follow along. I'm going to just... I see what you did there, Melissa Reed. Right into... I, I heard it, too. So. Oh, let me get rid of the water. Yeah, don't spill water. No, I don't want to spill water yet. So as you can see... You don't want to make the floor moist. That really white color is kind of going away from the Zia. And if you want to keep it, you just add whitening to get this more um, white look. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's making the gold pop even more than it did before. It's really luminous. Here we go. Getting it in there. And what I'm doing, I'm buffing it. Now with the salve, and the wax, I find, is different. Um, I'm noticing that the salves 
the hemp salves actually absorb straight into the surface and actually don't float on the top. So what you're getting is something that's actually going to cure. So that's why I'm kind of becoming a big fan of the salve as opposed to the wax here lately, and, and it's only because of that. Um, I'm noticing that it really sucks into the surface. Plus, it rehydrates and re glistens existing surfaces. So if you just want to go over something like, say, your grandmother's table that you haven't refinished yet, but you just want to give it more life, you just go for it, go right over it with some of this salve, and it'll make that wood just pop and come back to life again while protecting it and, you know, giving the wood and everything. It, it stops it from cracking. It just makes it beautiful. Oh my gosh, honey, this thing is gorgeous. I think this is my favorite one yet. Pretty fantastical. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and that jasmine smells so good. Oh look, there's a little hair from my chip brush. Look at that, because it's not a latex or acrylic base, I can just flick it off with my finger. <laughs> it's not glued down, so that's one problem error avoided in the finish. I like that. All right, I'm, a, I'm only doing half of this so you guys can see the difference between sealed and not sealed so that you guys can know how it looks. Are you able to see a difference between A and B on the camera, babe? Don't come over here. You're going to ruin me. You should zoom that sucker in. I haven't zoomed in. Well, you're off center. What's up with that? Don, Don is, do oh my gosh. Oh man, babe, but they can't see. This is beautiful. Really want them to be able to see that difference between sealed and not sealed. Yeah, this salve is awesome. Where's the line? Right here. Is the middle. Woo! Oh, there's another little hair. I got that flicked off. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, honey. Sorry, guys. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Now, where that Zia was real thick, it stayed pretty light, and I like that a lot, like right here. All right. Let's finish out this area over here. Get some nice thick and just buff it right into that surface. Sorry guys, I'm trying my best. It's just a little low me. Yeah, sorry about that, Debbie. There we go. Oh wow, that gold is really coming alive. It looks beautiful whenever it's next to that natural the or the original finish that brown, it gives it a like bronze color, like a, like a, oh gosh, you know those statues that are made out of bronze, it's like that brownish, orangish gold, really beautiful to have them next to each other. Thanks, Inga, I'm glad somebody appreciates me. She says I'm doing great. You are doing great, baby. Uh-huh, that's not what you usually tell me. You're doing horrible, you're a you, horrible cameraman. You usually wait till Why did I ever marry you? And hit me with the belt. Hit him with the belt. It gets the shot right or it gets the belt. Could you imagine? <laughs> Terrible. Actually, it could be fun. Wait, sorry. You are crazy. Wrong show. Well, one thing I can say, I definitely can tell a difference between um, the ways that I've seen this done with it paint is the light, darling. versus um, unicorn spit is that when you're doing the paint, it seems to get really crusty. Um, and gets big globs and 
and chunks. It gets a chunky look. Where this actually just looks like it was hydro dipped in a film because it does. It dries flat. There's a little bit of texture here and there, um, but not a huge, gigantic amount. And I, I like that a lot because I'm not really into having a crusty texture because dust sticks to textures and just starts building up. And I want something that's going to be easy for me just to clean up, especially if you have animals. We all know that, you know, pet dander and things like that are just, it's very damaging to furniture and you want to be able to wipe that and clean that easily. Like down here where, where it was able to pool, it did crust up and I'm just going to take that. I thought it looked cool when I first saw it, but now I don't like it so much because I don't want it to, to dander all up like that. So I'm going to try to, it's going to seal right over that. I'm even going to do the interior with this hemp salve so that it looks just as shiny and new as the as the exterior does. I want it all to look nice and beautiful. Oh, there's a spot I missed. All right. Take that and just bring it all back to life. Nice and beautiful. Now it looks like it's going to be new inside and out. So we got all that part done there. Um, I'm going to come over here to this side. So if you want to get over here so you guys can, maybe you can zoom in real good so we can see what the before and after looks like on that. You ready? He says he's ready. Here we go. Start from our bottom. You can see how it takes those tones that were really ashy and chalky looking and turns them real rich and deep and takes that ashy look away, the chalky look. Again, if you like that chalky look, you can keep it. Just be aware that you can't leave it out in the rainstorm. It'd be like unsealed chalk paint, like a true mineral paint, not one that has any type of polymer binders in it, like acrylic or latex, but true, true paint. See you in Arizona, Teresa. Is Teresa, Teresa coming to Arizona? She says, looking forward to meeting you and Don next week in AZ. Yes, that's She's right. Gotta go. We have our show coming up next week. And we're going to be doing an open to the public show in Tucson um, at the largest Ace Hardware in the whole world. It's where my friend Belinda is. She's recovering from the flu right now, the poor thing. Um, but then after that, we're going to be going to Phoenix and doing the big convention where I get to meet all the um, buying agents for big corporations like Hobby Lobby and Home Depot, as well as mom and pop shops are also open. So this is definitely for a retailer's show. So it's very, I'm excited. And I also am going to go see my friend Lauren Chapman, who's in Winslow, so we'll have a little bit of a road trip. What did I do with my wax? I don't know. I uh, look here. who's on. It's uh, Brooke from the gym. Hi, Brooke. Brooke from the gym? Yeah, I sent her a link while we were talking. Oh, you dork. Uh, <laughs> Hi, see. Brooke. I know I weaned out today. I just did the treadmill, you guys. I totally weaned out. Uh, let's see. Darlene, please tell us again what you're using for the finish. This is a hemp salve that I have. Um, it's in the works right now of being formulated. This is one of my samples I was given. Um by the gal who's making them for me. Um, it's just uh, really environmentally friendly and user friendly and pet friendly oil based sealer that um, you can use in your home. And it's not only is it like a hard wax like you would expect with like a Annie Sloan wax, but it's, it's a salve. And this makes it so that it actually absorbs into the unicorn spit through it and penetrates all the way down to the wood. So not only are you sealing your unicorn spit and giving it some endurance and some 
ability to deflect from humidity and, and the things that could break it down. But you're also energizing your wood and giving it some, some light. It um, makes it nice and moisturized. Moist. It helps it from crackling or becoming brittle. So it's like, like a healing agent and protecting agent for your wood furniture. It's almost like a vitamin. You can handle that. Paula's going to be in Arizona too. Who? Oh, I know. Paula and Cindy, her sister's coming. Teresa's coming. I've got a lot of buddies coming. And we're um, going to have a big dinner. Marla Faith is real happy. She found four colors of spit at the Hobby Lobby in Iowa. Oh, good. It is. It's coming, you guys. It's definitely coming along. Um, it's getting it's getting sought after. I'm really excited about it. At first, people are like, what the heck is this stuff? And I, it was really hard, but that's why I do these videos. I mean, I could sit back and just try to let unicorn spit sell itself and depend on everybody else to do it, but... I do these videos so that places like Hobby Lobby might start getting their staff educated on how to actually use it rather than just selling it. So that's my thing that I'm going for, at least. Will this be water resistant? Yes, it is going to be water resistant. So water and oil don't mix. And this is putting a curing oil over it. And uh, it's safe and natural. There's nothing in it that could hurt you. And it deodorizes your furniture as well. Uh, Josie wants to know, will this piece be going to Arizona with you? No, this is mine. I'm keeping this, baby. It's going to be the... It's going to be part of my treasure trove. The backdrop trove. of the new set is what this is for. Yes. And I'm going to do my darndest to not get it dirty. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm not going to die. But it's so beautiful. Um, it's it, This is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I really love it. Um, I'm just glad to finally get it out of my office. It's been taking up yeah. more space for ever. For over two years, I've been lugging this thing around. And paying. I've had to pay movers several times to move all the furniture from one location to the other. And... I'm really, I've always saw it and said, okay, we're going to keep this one because I think it's going to be something awesome one day. And, well, we finally did it. It just took a long time. Let's see, get this little foot down Sure better here. than my idea, which was throw it out in the trash can. Yeah, I don't want to throw things. I know. He doesn't want me to keep a hold of all the hordes and things people leave behind. And Well, it's just been sitting here forever. I Nobody's know. doing anything with it, taking up my office space. I know. Well, I did something with it. So. Finally. Finally, right? Now, as you guys see, um, this spit is starting to absorb this hemp oil. It's really starting to suck it up. So as I go by and I look at the reflection of the light... I can see where it has sucked it up because it's not going to give it a super duper glossy finish. You're going to have a satin finish with this product. This is not going to give you a glass like finish. So this is definitely a satin. It's going to have a very low sheen, if any. But it'll continue to suck it up. Not only into the unicorn spit, but through it to the wood. And the wood will drink it up as well. And you can use this as a furniture polish. And give it several applications if you want. Um, and that really helps the curing process. All right, now on this side here, did I wax this side? I don't think I did. Let's see here. I don't know. I've been off in La La Land again, so we've been right. filming this side. All right, well, let's get side. this side. We can get this side going. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot of questions in here today. I'm just trying to follow up and filter them okay. out. Okay. All right. Yes, Marlo, we did the video because we love you. We did the video because we love Marlo, everyone. We did, loved her performance in, in uh, Fight Club. It was magnificent. What? Marla Faith was in Fight Club? Oh, <laughs> Remember God. the er, character's name was Marla. Oh, good Lord. It's one of my favorite movies. No, Josie, yeah, we're not, yeah. She, Josie was hoping that was going to be our answer. We have something way cooler. For what? For, for Arizona. Oh, my gosh, you guys. The piece that Wait I made for Arizona. Wait till you see what we made in Arizona. Oh, my gosh. It is... 
brought in a whole new inspiration to me, and I am really just over the moon about it, just over the moon. I took such time and detail on it. I sanded this old piece down, and I stripped it. We bought it, it at the, uh, the Goodwill. No, we bought it at Faith Charities. Well, it's the same thing. Well, yeah. It's a Goodwill-like store. And, and it was supposed to be Tiger Wood. It turned out it was somebody just painted it to look like Tiger Wood. Yes. It was a very popular thing to do was to make things look as though it was a beautiful tiger oak. Um, some of it's worth a lot of money. Of course, I looked that one up before I went and stripped it down. It wasn't one of the ones that were worth a lot of money. But, um, gosh, it's so beautiful. But that piece for Arizona that I did, I got to keep it um, a secret for a minute because it's my big, my big kapow when I come out. When it comes out of the closet, because it's beautiful. And it definitely and looks loud like it. And proud. It definitely looks like something that would have to have come out of the closet at some point. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. This is turning out beautiful. I'll tell you what. So, again, oh man. You know, this is my favorite job to give the kids. What's up, hippie? My buddy Jeff's on here. Hi, watching. Jeff. Roxanne Butler wants to know, what are we putting on it now? This is a hemp cell. Um, we're going to have it available here in the next few, um, probably next month, along with the uh, metallic gel, sta or gel stain and glaze that I've, I'm going to be um, prototyping and trying out with you guys. Um, but this is the hemp cell, and I love it. It smells so good. Smells so, so good. Here we go. Get that off of there. There. And that sealed that baby up. And the only thing we have left to do, honey, is four minutes until I have to leave. The doors. I'm just going to pop them back in here for now. How long does it take to cure? I've seen that question a few times. I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, it just depends on your piece. Um, so it, gradually over time, it absorbs the um, oil into it. So right now, the way that it is, I could easily pick it up and put it in the back of the truck and take it down to um, the consignment Shop in the West Bottoms. I mean, it's not like it's going to ruin the finish. As you see, I'm taking my fingernails and scratching it. There's nothing coming off. Um, well, my hands are dirty anyways, but it's sealed. It's on there. Cindy, so eventually uh, it will suck it all in and get real matte finished looking. And that's when you'll want to probably give another coat if you're not happy with the finish that it has. You give it as many coats as you feel it needs. But it does take like a day or two to fully absorb, depending upon the moisture in the air. Cindy wants to know what's the purpose of the, I am assuming she said, she's talking about the wax. The purpose of the wax for me is because I don't trust this with my lifestyle to not get wet. This is going to be in a working condition. It's going to be my, my piece for my, my work when I'm doing my films in the new studio. So I'm going to be using a lot of spray bottles of water and different things like that up there. And I don't want to take the chance of getting it wet and affecting my finish. So I am going to give it a, a coat of oil in order to cure it. That way, that way I know that I've got it just protected. Now, if you don't want to use the oil and you just want to leave it like that, and you know that every time you go to clean it, you're only going to use like some pledge or an oil-based cleaner on it. You can gradually seal it that way. But it does, would not hold up to like a bathroom humidity. If you want to, want to use this as a, um, as a vanity for a bathroom. Boy, wouldn't that be a beautiful vanity? Yeah, you like would definitely. Like cut a sink at the top? You would definitely want a FAMO wood that though. Yeah, you'd want a FAMO wood the top. Hardcore it, you know, do something pretty hardcore. I there. would want a FAMO wood the top for sure. 
Kristen wants you to get a piece of granite cut for the top. That'd be really very cool. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kristen wants you to come to her bath, her bedroom furniture like this. I want to do my own bedroom furniture like no, this. No, this no, is... no, 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 no. What? No. It's beautiful. It is cool, but it's I don't. It's the prettiest I've ever done. It is very cool, and a lot of people have said that it's probably the favorite thing that you've ever done. See. However. Yeah, I know he loves that dark brown. Chicken brown cow. He loves the dark brown. We have this dark brown four post bed, and it is a beautiful set. Yes, really, the wax really is only a sealer. And maybe whenever it's old and it's beat up in the finish, that's. We're, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and interrupt you here because we're going to have to go ahead and head to Philadelphia because Kristen has agreed to pay us in cheesesteaks. Oh, well, we're there. Let's go to Philadelphia and go eat all of Kristen's cheesesteaks. Grilled meat sandwiches are should be a currency. Listen, I go to the Dairy Dine and I order a Philly cheesesteak omelet. And they make it especially for me because they love me, thank God. But it's the best thing ever because I can't have the bread. So Philly cheesesteak omelets are awesome. Thank you, Dairy Dine and Bonner Springs. Uh, Kristen, I am definitely a with whiz guy. A what? With whiz. With cheese whiz on your Philly steak. Oh, my God. They put cheese whiz? Well, that's all new concept to me. Well, it's not if you know your Philly cheesesteaks. Well, I don't know my Philly cheesesteaks then. Get under here. Wait. Oh, the other thing I like about salad that I want to tell everyone, it doesn't get all hard like wax does. So your brushes and stuff, you have a lot more time to get them clean. And you don't have to really worry about it. Um, this brush I haven't washed yet since I've been using my salve. And it's probably built up in it. But I, it hasn't affected it from being soft or anything. It's just, it's kind of, this is kind of like my polishing brush, I guess you could say. Boy, that's oh, beautiful. my bad, wit wit. What? <coughs> Excuse me, that's a long Is Instead of with whiz, it's wit wit. Wit wit. Wit wit. Is that how they say it? That, that's how they say it. Wit onions, wit whiz. I like onions. <laughs> I like mushrooms. Hey, uh, and I don't. I'm, I hate to kill the party, boys and girls. Is it but over? I, I got. I got a meeting. I gotta go oh, to. Oh yeah, Don's got to go to his meeting, and so do I. But you know what's great about that? It's right behind us. It's right behind us, and. They provide alcohol. No. It is an AA meeting after all. It's not. God. Oh, that's tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> At the Unity Church on the plaza. Okay. We don't go to meetings. No, we don't go to meetings. I I quit quitting. <laughs> Thank God. Right? I wish all right. I just like my Boone's it. Farm. That's what I need to stick to. I just need to keep telling myself that. Boone's the Farms. I love it. I love it. I should have All right. Let's roll that. this up. All right, guys. Well, here we are today. We're going to let this go ahead and cure. We got a nice coat of this um, hemp salve. Now, there's different companies that offer hemp salve. I'm not sure mine's going to be any better than others, but mine will be jasmine scented because um, I don't think there's too many ways to formulate it. And we're going to let this absorb. When we come back, we're going to see if the if the finish changes, I think it's going to become more satin and more matte and less glossy than it is now. But it's also going to give us a chance to start thinking about our top. So I'm real worried about the top because we used that nail filler, that wood filler. And I don't know what it's going to be like up there. So I'm be fine. anxious. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Yay. Let's go. All right, People we got to go. Else. All right, guys. Well, hope this was a feast for the eyes. And it sure is for me. And until yeah, we and come back on Monday... Monday, Monday, Monday. Well, we're going to work on the top, so until then, be unless good. Unless we get, unless we get like, another ice storm. Unless we get an ice storm, yeah. which let's hope we the don't. The plan is we'll be back on Monday. Monday, there's no kids. We're going to bring the kids with us to the shop. i got to get Crap. this job done. All yeah. right. It's Martin Luther King Day. All, All right, guys. Yeah. Well, till Monday, 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 be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.